Red Dreaded Entertainment, what's up guys? My name is Akasun, a little... Ah, a little under the weather here. Not, not under the weather, but allergy season right now in Japan. So thus, I have the glasses going on. And a little disappointed also because I was about to upload something for you guys. The Telltale episode of The Walking Dead I played uh, la a couple days ago. Uh, it uploaded to... it. I thought it was going to upload to Twitch and it did not so we had a good stream and such but unfortunately it looks like it was not recorded uh very very disappointing even further makes me mad that my live streaming abilities on youtube have been disabled for the time being thank you super bowl yeah anyways uh so unfortunately i had a really good stream uh, a couple of shocking moments with a very good episode, but as far as I can tell, it is not on Twitch right now. So I cannot transfer it to uh, YouTube for your entertainment. So my apologies about that. I am so sorry. Nevertheless, regarding the TV show, everything is still secure. Everything is still recording right now. This is the latest episode. This is episode 10. Had a really very, one of the best episodes, actually, uh, of this season, last season. And honestly, it wasn't anything shocking. It was just a solid episode. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with this brand new group that's entering uh, for Rick. Uh, we had a very good conversation last time about uh, King Ezekiel. I'm pretty sure Daryl, uh, you guys can see it at the crossbow, uh, uh, Daryl is going to fuck things up somehow, some way. And let's see what's up. By the way, the Amazon stuff, I'm going to be doing like an unboxing. Not on this video, but a little later. If you are interested in sending me stuff via my post office box, my P.O. box, the information is in the description below. I want to decorate some stuff. Somebody draw me as King Ezekiel. Or Photoshop me some more. And I'll put it back here. Alright guys, <laughs> let's get into this. Your latest episode of The Walking Dead starts now. Why do I feel something incredibly bad is about to happen? So, <coughs> things might need to get a little messy. Visceral. It's on edge for the kingdom. Yeah. That's your sister. My sister loved that dress. You know, Stick with this stick, man. Jerry. This way, though, the kingdom's gonna hey, fall. Anything happens to her, I'll kill you. I'm gonna die for the kingdom. Why don't you? That's, a very, that's actually a good point because I thought it was going to lead to him anyways. I thought his death would inspire Ezekiel to get going. I like that background though. Very good shot selection this time around. Why is everybody got long hair? Oh, a few black people. Yeah, this isn't all creepy. Nope, nope. This. Ha! I thought that was Mila Jojovich. Hi. That haircut. I'm though. Rick. Join us in fighting them. Rick has the oddest first yeah. date. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean now? Your words now. If you join us, <laughs> this group is we fucking weird. Tamiel, bring on. Show Rick up, up, up. The fuck is up, up, up? What is this language? I love it. 
What is the weekend doing back there? Best friends, I guess. <laughs> These garbage pill kids. I need to know you're real with this. Oh. Worth it. Oh, he's very. <laughs> Want it. Nice. Somebody from the outside, give him a weapon. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Weird. But nice addition to the story. Half of the jars. The ones we took. One time, this time. Yes. Say yes. Yes. Gee, <laughs> the negotiation. Is so and the weird. guns. Oh my god. And the guns. <laughs> Woman, you live in trash. He had that thing down there for someone to prove themselves. No. His name was Winslow. Worst business meeting ever. Well, it's actually growing fairly well. You know, I know Carol's gone through a lot of shit, but in some form or fashion, she's being a bit selfish. I mean, she's going crazy too, but yeah. Daryl? from taking from us or we're gonna take from other people I don't care we win God. what is wrong with Rosita recently guns is everybody back home okay <laughs> Carol this is like 10 episodes ago Carol you're a little late to the party here. They came. We got them all. Made a deal with the rest of them. Like Ezekiel. Everyone's all right. Everyone's all right. Daryl. Daryl. I gotta be a king or something. I gotta get food around here. <laughs> I guess, but. Figure any guy that has a pet tiger can't be that bad. <laughs> He's okay by Carol. Come on! Morgan, let's go! Somebody! Moves this goddamn kingdom! <laughs> wow! That's it? God. Okay, so there you have it, folks. That was the latest episode of The Walking Dead. Um, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, was alright. It was, it, it was, I guess, majority wise focused on building this new group, which was the most interesting part of the show itself. 
they had a weird, or at least one of them had a weird sort of dialect <clears throat> and the way she handled herself was quite interesting. Interesting parallels as well to Negan and the Saviors about half your stuff, except for them, and where the Saviors actually have people getting stuff for them, this junkyard group <laughs> wait for people to find it for them. Like they wait and then take. It's kind of similar, but in a, instead of a, they just kind of come in, they, they scavenge what's been scavenged. They steal what's already been stolen. So that's an, it's an interesting dynamic to that, uh, that situation. Numbers wise, I still don't think they have enough people for some, like, I, I don't know what it is. I mean, it's, if I was Rick, I wouldn't be as confident in this group. Like, it's a, it's a lot of people. Mind you, yes, it's a lot of people, but it's still not as many people, as far as I can tell. It's not as many well, uh, you know what, I'm, I take that back. It might be more than enough because of the fact that, um, I keep on thinking of the saviors. I keep on thinking of the saviors in terms of the comic book saviors. I keep on thinking there's a lot more. But if you just kind of go by what you've seen on TV with the saviors and such, it's it's a lot, but it's not as many as the comic has let on. And you know, um, we haven't really seen the full extent of what Negan's uh, been running recently. We haven't seen Negan in a while actually so and uh but my only concern is the fact that the um the biggest benefit is the fact that negan's group and the saviors are just more well organized more well implemented uh and every other group tends to be hanging on by a thread right now like very tense situations and uh, uh, a lot of resistance actually the only group that's kind of ready to roll is the hilltop you, you fuck uh, Gregory whatever but uh, the hilltop Alexandria kingdom has hesitation some people want to go and that's a, I guess that's an interesting dynamic in itself as well as each group with the exception of Alexandria uh, in each group, there's people that want to move forward or wait, and then there's the opposition within the group as well. So I, I suppose that's how it works, uh, or how it has been working. Very interesting, I suppose. Um, I am also wondering if... Um, this is more for the comic fans that have read the sto uh, story. I Like, someone proposed to me that Carol... Because she's in her own, kind, she's kind of going crazy, and for a while she was seeing the dead for quite some time. Um, I was kind of wondering, or uh, somebody was proposing to me that she might become, uh, she might get her own group and start, uh, I'm trying to be not spoilerish here, but she might become the leader of a particular quiet group. Um, uh, yeah, we'll just, yeah, we'll say that. So I'm kind of wondering about that, if, uh, like, if they're kind of working her that particular way, I don't know. I wish Daryl would, would have told her what's going on and tell her just exactly how bad it is. It's kind of getting annoying about the fact of how, like, if she, if, like, she's kind of being selfish, like, you know, not everybody has that option, that luxury of living alone and just, I mean, I know she, and uh, also, and, I know she needs some sort of peace of mind, I know she was going crazy, but at the same time, storytelling wise, it's been like 10 episodes or more actually, and we still don't like, we still, something's gotta move with Carol, cause she's just sitting on her ass while everybody else is suffering, in my opinion here. Um, and then the other thing I was gonna, I was kind of wondering is, um, I'll probably make this the question of the video, kind of, a uh, double question of the video. and. The junkyard group, that's what I call them, the junkyard dogs. I actually wonder if they will also become a threat in the future. I'm very much wondering if they'll become, like, even if they, it's kind of like they, like, 
it's kind of like making a deal with a group like you can't completely trust or that they're gonna they will become a problem in the future even if the saviors are eliminated will they you know they'll, they'll become a bigger issue later but I'm glad they have the inclusion here I'm hoping somehow some way the female group is gonna get involved because I think that's where they're he headed next I hope I have a feeling this entire season is just gonna wrap up with the entire uh, army getting ready Rick so you're gonna have Rick and all, all of a sudden <clears throat> Well, we're having, because we only have a few more episodes left, right? So I'm feeling we're having tension with all these groups. And then finally, at the end of the episode, uh, the end of the season here, you're going to see Alexandria, the people from the hilltop ready, Maggie's group. Uh, everybody's going to uh, assemble somewhere, basically, right? It's going to be like Avengers. Everybody's going to assemble. You're going to see the hilltop, Alexandria, the kingdom, the junkyard dogs, the... Uh, female water group, the Bayside group, whatever. You're going to see these five groups coming together and it's going to be like, God damn And you're going to say, you're going to hear Rick be like, <laughs> I almost said a symbol. <laughs> Survivors, a symbol! Or some shit like that. We are the walking dead. And then they're going to start marching toward the march toward war. All out war will start after that might be interesting it'll be interesting to see how that all comes about let's go ahead and move on to the question of the video all right so sorry i was trying some messages here <laughs> speaking of the amazon wish list um i will be adding something <clears throat> for the ps3 uh cali cali chung was just asking me something by the way she met some of the people from the walking dead as well she was uh she wanted me to add something to the amazon wish list so if you guys are interested in supporting her and all that so i went ahead and added it um let's go ahead and talk about carol for a second uh and i just kind of want to get your guys opinion of fields of self because you know for us tv time tv time versus real life time sometimes seems like it's not a lot going on all right like uh, like you know in the walking dead maybe it's only been a few months a few maybe a month or so but for us it's been I wouldn't say almost a year but it's been a few months now that we've been sitting through watching Carol go through this let yo she needs a break I get it she was going crazy uh, being a badass isn't that easy um, they're trying to give her some dynamic I always felt like the writers pulled her out just because she was like a little overpowered sometimes and it just wouldn't have made much sense to, um, like, you couldn't have all those badasses uh, going up against the going up against the saviors at that moment in time. So they made they purposely made Carol go kind of crazy, just so uh, she the, we wouldn't have her being taken out or whatever. I guess, uh, but now look, she's been living on her own. She has a nice house like how many people have a house for reals she's got security of the kingdom she even though she's not contributing and it's kind of like like come on now come on really like come on and like uh, like daryl made a really good point when talking to morgan about you know i know what you mean but you like what you're you're thinking whatever that's that's done it's over with like it, it whatever you're holding on to it is what it is like uh, you got to let that go because times are changing just like even the junkyard dogs said the same deal like uh <laughs> type things are maybe it's time for us to change maybe not whatever in her weird ass dialect um uh verbatim so what i wanted to say here with carol is do you think carol is being selfish like do you think Carol is, it's time for Carol to like really, yeah. she wants to be alone or she wants to die, either way, I I don't, it's, I can't like fathom, like, I get the fact that at one point she did just want to die, <clears throat> she wanted to die, but now she's kind of like, just chilling, reading books, lighting fires while everybody is like, 
uh, worried for their life or whatever. And I know that she didn't ask for that, but she's also doing it, I guess, from a viewer's point of view. Viewer, viewership point of view. It's just boring to see that because knowing what she's capable of, of what she can do, and how much she could contri contribute. I don't know where, like, I really hope this gets wrapped up with Carol really soon, but I just kind of feel like she's in some way not contributing or semi being selfish by not doing anything, but still reaping the benefits uh, without any consequence where everybody else is scared shitless about the saviors and such. If she, and I, that's why it's kind of annoying, like, yo, like, Daryl, don't let her live in this fantasy that everything's cool because things are not cool people have died and if she was around maybe those people wouldn't be it would still be around right second question i wanted to ask you as well as the junkyard dogs i just call them that it's gonna, it's gonna stick um with mila jojovic actually i wonder if they're gonna become that future group from the comics i'm thinking about um there is one particular way yeah there is somebody i would kind of know would she be really like i was thinking carol might become this person but maybe she this jojovich girl is gonna uh, become this person later very good actress uh, by the way um uh, i was gonna i was going to uh there was something ah do you think they can be trusted do you think the group can be trusted they kind of remind me pseudo remind me of the assassins the no-face assassins and game of thrones um that don't that serve the mini face god and it's kind of like bartering basically the minute the mini face gods you know you spare a life you have to take a life like that it back and forth it's trading of of, of a different type of way so i am kind of wondering about that if they can be trusted now or in the future, are they going to become a big problem later? I don't know, but I'm glad that they're finally getting some numbers as well, okay? Guys, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Uh, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if this is your first time around. Uh, we got some wish list stuff coming up fairly soon. Uh, this one was actually a gift from Skybound Entertainment, which uh, I should I open this up one day and make a little skit. I uh, got some other stuff I will pop open a little bit later. Got to add Callie's request to the Amazon list, wish list. I will add. I should put some TWD stuff in there as well. That'd be awesome. Okay. Anyways, and I apologize about the Telltale deal. I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can retrieve it somehow, some way. If there's another way, people, if you can back it up, I don't. I don't know. I thought it was recording that entire time, so it's very concerning. I'm sad, but uh, make sure you tune in next week as well as I'll play episode 3 of Telltale, and maybe I'll just do a quick recap of my feelings of episode 2, which was a really good episode as well. So episode 3, I'll be playing in the middle of the week if you want to catch the live stream, just in case you miss it. All right? I'm out of here, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next week. All my friends are heathens, take it slow. Wait for them to ask you who you know.